Welcome back team. He's Thanks for joining fire. me again. Today we are looking at the 3-2 zone defense. Different than the 2-3 zone, it's a 3-2 defense. Also, just want to let you know that through the summer of 2023, my personal goal for the channel is to make sure that we can get to 100 subscribers by the end of summer. So if you like what I'm doing, I really appreciate it. Uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, let's keep getting after it to become the best coaches and players that we can. So today in the 3-2 zone defense that we're looking at, one, we want to make sure we're aware of the formation. So the formation looks like this. You got three guys across the perimeter and you got two guys down guarding the low block. Now, as always in a zone defense, you're not guarding a man, okay? You're guarding an area. And so Dennis Rodman at the top of the key, he's got this top spot and he's got the high and low post at different times when the ball is swung to the wing. Iverson, Bird, they're watching their respective wings where they're making sure that if the ball's anywhere below the free throw line extended, that they're getting out there to those shooters. Now where the communication really needs to happen is between these two players on each side. See where Curry's standing here? Who takes him? That's up to the teammates on defense to decide who is covering, okay? If Dennis Rodman comes over and takes him, Iverson rotates over, watching Morant, and Bird is coming up to watch the pass across the middle. All right, so that's just one example of how these perimeter guys work together as a team. The second part are these low post defenders. If the ball comes down to the corner, these two guys also need to be communicating. If Shaq decides to come all the way out to play defense because there's a deadly shooter here and Iverson's already on him, okay, Zion, Oh man, Zion has to make sure that he rotates over into basket help, which then allows Bird to also rotate over so that he's in help if in case there's a cutter from the weak side. Here, we still got the baseline protected. We got a high post protected when that player is looking for a pass. But most importantly, we got the basket help we were needed because we all know that Shaq, he's going to get beat baseline by John Morant all day. He's on fire. So one of the beauty beauties about a 3-2 zone is that if the offense is set up in like a 3 with a high and low offense or even a 5 out, it makes these positions really awkward because you have guys standing right at the 45s, you got a guy right at the top as well. So in this case where they're in a 4 out and a 1 high, it makes this pass very tricky to go from Curry over to LeBron because this player at the top is making sure that that pass isn't going to happen. He's also watching, however, that the ball's not gonna be going into the high post to a player like Jokic, who's gonna be really effective. So let's see what happens as the ball is swung, okay? So Curry manages to get the ball over to LeBron James, okay? And perhaps Bird is already there and Dennis Rodman is fronting the high post. Where is the open guy where the ball is going to go next? Well, it's going to be swung down to Joel into the corner here, which leaves Zion to come all the way out on the shooter and Shaq rotating over for defensive help or basket help. As the ball is swung back the other way or maybe even skipped to a weak side cutter, okay, the defense needs to react. There needs to be communication. Iverson covers the ball here. All right. We got Rodman covering the high post once again. Bird is going to sink down to watch for cutters. And Shaq is going to rotate over to be aware of the corner three. And Zion comes again and gets the basket help. So even if we take the offense away, we can see we've still maintained our formation, our 3-2 zone defense. The guys have played defense as a team. They've been guarding their areas, not following the ball or following cutters necessarily. However, they're staying in their zones, they're talking, they have their hands up, and they're making sure they're closing out on any close shooters, and then trusting their teammates to fill in on that back zone rotation. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you got questions, comments, maybe I forgot something, put it down in the comment below. Love to hear from you.